Hi there, folks. It's Mike, and welcome to yet another Mike's Editorials. And this one is going to be controversial. This is a topic that has been controversial this year, and I figure I wait till December to discuss this topic as we end off the year. And it's controversial for the wrong reasons. Of course, I'm referring to the recent Ghostbusters movie featuring females. <gasps> Female Ghostbusters? Who oh my! <laughs> Media representation of females are still low, low compared to males nowadays. Sure, we're getting some female action stars here and there, but with this movie here, you would think that Hollywood would be like, hmm, Ghostbusters with females. Let's objectify it and exploit their female goodness and have them be hot and sexy. This film did not do that. This film did not do that whatsoever. It did something a little bit uh, original for once. It actually tried to go with the original context of it and having comedic female actresses portray the roles of these female Ghostbusters. Why did over a million people hate the new Ghostbusters? Well, we as an audience take in movies over the years. And as you may notice in cinema nowadays, it's male dominated. We're so used to males being leads in our movies. And there's so select female oriented movies. I don't know why. I don't know why. Hollywood, just shoot me a message ask, telling me why you don't feature females more often than males. I'd like to know, please. The female perspective in movies are still low, but they're slowly climbing up in recent years. But here's the thing. Nobody ever complained about these other female-led movies until this one. What made Ghostbusters different? What made Ghostbusters different than any other female-led movie out there? To back it up a bit, the original franchise, the original movies, were about people we can relate to. They were nerdy guys who were into the paranormal and ended up fighting ghosts in the long run. This is something we have not seen in anything before. Mind you that this franchise has male dominant fans and they've grown to attach it as they grow up watching the movies, the TV shows, and everything else in the franchise. Oddly enough, this year, along with the new Ghostbusters movie, was a great documentary called Ghost Heads. Various Ghostbusters fans have set up their own chapters in their city to represent Ghostbusters in a positive light as a charitable cause because Ghostbusters are the every man in life, like firefighters and the police. I think the biggest take out of all of this is that if you take a franchise with male characters and remake and rebooting it by gender swapping the roles of females, that it's just going to make the experience a little bit different because we grown to love these male characters in the original context of the movie they're rebooting and remaking. I mean, it's think, think of it like remaking Back to the Future with females. It wouldn't be right. I mean... Would you want to see Marty McFly as a female, Doc Brown as a female? That just wouldn't seem right. I mean, we think of our male counterpart in a movie, you know, there's we can relate to it. And I mean, I guess there could be female time travelers too, I guess, if they did Back to the Future with females for all I know. But our media representation of females has changed and grown a lot since the early days of cinema. And I guess, especially with the Ghostbusters here, I guess... We don't want to see our Ghostbusters being females. Let's not forget about the feminine side here. I mean, they come in full force with this movie, Ghostbusters. I mean, why? This is weird, because they haven't done it for any other female-led movies out there. And, oh, God. Where do I even start with this? Apparently... If you don't watch this movie, you're a misogynist. 
most people who did not watch this movie, it wasn't because of the female aspect of it. It was because that they are fans of the beloved franchise. They saw what they did to the franchise by rebooting it with females after years upon years of waiting for a Ghostbusters 3. This is just good. This is just getting out of hand fast. I mean, this is getting blown out of proportion here. People should not be ridiculed for not watching a movie because it has women in it. This is all because of their stigma with reboots and remakes of their favorite movies. As I think deeply about this, the sad truth is that we are not fully appreciating females in movies. We are so engrossed with the male dominance of of males as our main characters and protagonists. Sure, we're having a few female leads in movies here and there, but it's not leaving an impact for more female-led movies. And I guess with this recent Ghostbusters movie, it's not helping at all. It's, it's just the sad truth that gender equality is very effective in Hollywood and it's more male-oriented than female-oriented. All I gotta say, is that this film does not deserve all the hate that has been getting. This has been Mike. This is Mike's Editorials. Thanks for watching, and adios, amigos!